TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 17. You get the NASDAQ uh, trading up nine. S&Ps are up two. Gold contracts up $13.60, trading at a price point of $1,348. We have silver up about 38 cents at $20.38. Platinum's up four bucks, trading out at 11.40. We get the uh, bond, the uh, Copper market flat at 218. Light sweet crude still can't catch a bid, folks. We're at 41.95. That is going after its April 18th swing low, which is the 4058 area. Notes and bonds. This is what we have. Notes are down five ticks, 132.12. Bonds are down 20 ticks, 172.19. Both the notes and the bonds continue to look like they're going to go after their breakout area from June 24th. King dollar. King dollar down 602 ticks. And if we go over and we take a look at King dollar, this is what you have. King dollar is going into the benchmark June 24th high. And you're going into that with dramatically lighter volume. So the real kicker here is going to be, are you going to get a rejection of lower price? Uh, that price point that we're talking about is 96.70. So right now you're below it. You're at 96.42. You're coming into this area with 15,000 contracts, which is really light. So we'll see uh, if, in, in fact, King Dollar is going to reject this price uh, point at, the, at, uh, at today, meaning at this time. Gold. We go over to the gold contract. What we have with gold is this. You take a look at the gold contract. Uh, gold is up right now, 13 bucks. That $13 area, however, folks, gold gets priced from 1.30 in the afternoon yesterday to today. That, all of that was in the market yesterday. Uh, what gold did have, it had wide price spread, it had the volume, it had all of the above. Now we'll see whether it can, gold can get up and over uh, this uh, 13.66 area. We go take a look at the bonds. What we have with the bonds is this. Bond, bonds yesterday uh, got into higher price, didn't have the volume. Now, what you're doing here today is this. You got over the high, you're trading under the high right now, you're doing that, and you're going to have lighter volume. So what it's setting up is it looks like it's setting up a failure on price, on volume. Now, NDX 100. The NDX 100 is what's ruling out here, folks. You had Facebook come out with numbers last night, monster numbers. The Qs right now are trading at $114.87. This is in an ABC up structure. The Price projection is 121.99. I know that sounded weird a few days ago, but guess what? We're getting closer to it. You're going to have Google come out with numbers after the close today. We're going to have Amazon come out with numbers after the close. And what Google did yesterday, Google went into its swing point, huge volume. Google's at 746. That is an ABC structure up into the 800s, okay? So uh, you talk about um, a monster move that Google can have. Well, guess what? It can do it right after the close. Amazon, Amazon's another wild card, no doubt. We're at 743. Bottom line looks like Amazon wants to go higher. Um, the, the play there, you know, Google is uh, an equity that uh, hasn't really done much in the last year. Bottom line, it looks to me like that thing's going to go topside. And what is that going to do? What that's going to do is that's going to get the NDX 100 up to that price projection. What I suspect you're also going to have is this, is that the NASDAQ composite is trading at 51.50. That has 54.69. That's the ABC price projection on that. So bottom line is that's another 300 points higher. Um, the SPY is the weak link right now, but you got to remember that the SPY itself uh, led until a couple weeks ago. Uh, we have with the SPY, the SPY right now, we're at uh, 216.46. Uh, 218.90 is the ABC structure there. So what I expect you're going to see, you're going to see all of those get very close to those price projections. What we have is that you have window dressing simultaneously coming into, into the market. So bottom line, volatility is going to be out there. The after the close out here today, um, you'll, you'll have uh, Amazon and Google putting more juice uh, into this market. This 10 a.m. update is brought to you each and every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, you can give them a call at 855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking right back here tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock.
hey, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.